You need to allow him to come to your family, to come to your life as a man, so that you will be able to walk well with your family. And then after he comes to you, another way of overcoming. <clears throat> and now he will teach you many things. You become thankful. You become submissive because you cannot worship and fail to learn authority yeah. and submit. Yeah. In man, that's why man was put in Eden mm -hmm. to learn God first. Mm -hmm. And then another very important thing, after you come to God, you need to serve him. The contentment that comes because of service. That's why Job 36, 11. Yeah. Read it for us. Job 36, 11. He says, when you, are, you find yourself, you are bowed in fetus. The Bible says foolish are not like that. They don't call him when they're bowed. <laughs> 36, 11 uh, says, if they obey and serve him. If they will obey and serve him. They shall spend their days in prosperity. They will spend their days in prosperity. And their years in pleasures. And their years in pleasures or in contentment. Yeah. You want to dwell years of contentment? You want to be years of pleasure and be happy throughout? Serve God. Amen. If you obey and serve him, so disobedience will make you live a life of discontentment. Mm -hmm. So you need to obey and serve God. So if you don't want to ever to become a victim of discontentment, learn how to obey God and serve him. If you don't obey and serve him, this plague will come. It's a spiritual plague. Because you are not anchored. Your heart does not stand and found fulfillment. His fulfillment comes from God. He's the one who makes you satisfied. Mm -hmm. And he will give you that joy. Yeah. And he will make you fulfilled. That's how you can get fulfilled. Even when you have nothing. Amen. Now, look at this so that you understand what I'm telling about. Go back to Job, uh, uh, Hebrews 13. Verse 5, so that somebody will understand what I'm talking about. The God who brings fulfillment. Hebrews 13, 5. All right. Hebrews 13, verse 5. Let your conduct. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. Be content with what you have. For he himself I say for he himself I say I'll that God yeah I'll never leave you nor forsake you thank you amen I will never leave you nor forsake, nor forsake you. you amen if you get God God is enough amen. amen if you know God is enough whatever he gives you you will see it's enough that's why all things are contained in Jesus amen. so that when you get him you get everything mm. A good wife is contained in Jesus. Jesus. A good husband is contained in Jesus. When you get him, mm -hmm. you get all things. And therefore you can be happy. Now, if you don't have God, you will not be content. Be content with all what you have because God has said, He will never leave you. So what satisfies you in life is God. So when you serve Him, you are more fulfilled. Mm. When you serve him, there is prosperity, which brings fulfillment. There is joy in his presence, which brings fulfillment. So there is blessings that brings fulfillment. So you shall be a fulfilled yeah, person. Yeah. Even when there is trouble, you call him because you are so aside. Mm -hmm. So we want to say this night, if you want to be free from discontentment, invite God. Amen. Invite God. Surrender to his Because mm. the discontentment Amen. is the fruit of unbelief. And it is only God who has the power to deal with Amen. unbelief. Mm -hmm. If you understand that, now you will be another man. Amen. You will look at your wife and say, you are the most amazing person I have ever seen. <laughs> you will appreciate mm. little or big things done. Because already the art is disputed. <coughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
The devil is a liar. <coughs> He's defeated. The heart is changed. Yes. And when the heart is changed, mm -hmm. you become somebody else. Yeah. It is only a changed man who can love a woman in a perfect way. Yeah. It is only a changed woman who can love who can love man mm. in a in a perfect way. Perfect love does not come from in our place. It comes from God. Amen. And when we allow him mm -hmm. to influence us, change comes. And tonight, we want to encourage you now. Mm. You have been saying nothing good. My wife never appreciates me. My husband never appreciates me. Have you ever appreciated God? Have you ever appreciated God? You can be, you are reaping what you have been sowing. Yeah, yeah. A man who is not thankful to God, a man who is not thankful to God, does not appreciate God, does not commit to God, whatever you do turns against you. Yeah, because your content be comes mm. from God. So we challenge you this night. Knock him. Come to him. Give yourself to Jesus and allow your marriage to glorify him. Serve him with your family. Begin being thankful to God for your wife. And tell him, Jehovah, I thank you for my wife. What a wonderful person you gave me. And you will see it. What made Abraham overcome challenges? He was always giving glory to God. In, in difficulties, he saw God. What have you learned from Job? It's God who gives. It's God who takes. Let his name be glorified. If you now you know you have a making of God, you will always be comfortable if you asked from God and he gave you, you cannot see you disturbed better than what God has given. You thank him for what you have already received yeah. and desire him to give you more. You cannot ask for more by despising what already you have received. I saw in some place a man wanted to marry a woman and he wanted to prove his love for her. And what happened? He went to visit the woman where she was. And he came. He had a car, but he did not use that car. He came with a tax. He ended there, said hi. He met her with, in the midst of many uh, ladies. And the woman was very proud. A man wanted to surprise the woman with a new car. So that she felt loved, her birthday was near. So they were going to the birthday party. She wanted the man, the lady, to go with the birthday party with her car. So he comes with her bread and gives the lady and says, Happy birthday, my love. Hey, the lady, instead of appreciating the bread <laughs> and be happy, drew the bread, kicked the man with the bread threw the bread at the man, insulted the man, called him names. And the man said, I'm sorry. This is what I could have found. This is my best gift. The man is saying my best gift. He does not, the lady does not know. Inside the bread, there are cars, there, there are keys for the car. Just put inside the bread. So the bread was not even for eating. It's for surprise. The man went. And then when he went, he said, there's no relationship. Why? This woman doesn't understand me. Even if it was a sweet, even if she was not happy with the sweet, she wouldn't have taken, appreciate me for that. Because I've tried. I've remembered there are so many people who don't remember even people have birthed it. Mm. And then from there, we work out everything. 
But this man never, this woman never saw him. So later, severally, the woman came to apologize to the man. Hey, I'm sorry, I don't know what came. The man said, no. Do you know what type of a woman you are? Do you know what I brought you that day? Show them the keys. They were in the bread. The woman cried. I said, please, forgive me, take me. It doesn't work like that. Why did she lose what she was not supposed to lose? She was greedy. She expected more than she was given. Was she given more? Yes. But according to her blindness, mm. she could not see more. Yeah. There are so many people with the most beautiful women, you are not seeing. Your eyes are blinded. You are not seeing the best man you have. Your eyes are blinded. I have come to see couples who see value of their partners when they lose them. You start now seeing this person was important when this person is not there. I pray that your eyes will open. I have seen a woman when the husband was alive. This woman used to mock the man with every language possible. Born again by mocking the husband. And until if I never knew the husband, I would think this is the most useless man on the planet Earth. But he continue, she continued to mock him, make him look like nothing. And the man was the one holding everything together. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, man died. <laughs> if you see the life of the, that woman was turned into after the death of the man, you will know that man carried value. And now she cannot say anything. She cannot face a person like me tell me my worst man was useless. She cannot say like that. Because everything went opposite of what is supposed to happen. If the man was not important, she would have even prospered. Because she thought, she said even eating food, doing what? The man was nothing. The man, the companies and he had started, collapsed, everything. If she was the better one, even those companies should be alive even yeah. today. Mm. But the companies are not there. And everything, every project that he had initiated did not continue. If she was good as she was saying, and the man was useless as she was saying, those projects would have gone up. But they never went up. So where are you now? You need God. Are you not comfortable? You feel you could have gotten better. You feel that even the way you have, you should have been better than the way you have. God made mistakes. You need to have him. And when you get him, is, there is no wrong in improving yourself. There is nothing wrong in improving even your wife. But there is something wrong when you don't appreciate when you are discontented, mm -hmm. when you are never satisfied, even if she gets every degree, you will never be satisfied. Yes. Even if she, there are some women who have done everything to impress men, but finally they got frustrated because the man did not learn the value of the woman. Women, I want to speak to you. You need a man who understands your worth. A man who does not understand your worth does not deserve you. You need a person who understands the value of a woman. And when he understands the value of a woman, he will provide true love. And true men are able to do that. Real men are able to do that. And real men are men who have been transformed by Jesus Christ. Real men are men who have been changed by Jesus Christ. And they are able to be genuine and to do that which is right. They are thankful. They will tell you, thank you darling for doing this. Thank you my love for doing that. You are an amazing person. They appreciate who you are. They appreciate your strength. They appreciate your weaknesses. They appreciate your pains. They appreciate your joy. And they are there to work with you. And these are men that God needs in this generation. These are men that God needs in this 
world. Wow, wow. Glory to God. I just want to emphasize uh, using uh, the book of Romans, chapter number 11, and verse is number one. And of course, I will read also verse 18. The word says, and uh, let me read verse two because of our time. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed uh, by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that uh, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the thing that will heal you, because this is, he said it's a pandemic, it is a plague. The healing for discontentment, it is your ability to uh, accommodate or accept transformation. If your mind will be renewed and you don't conform, because the moment you conform to the patterns of the world, you are borrowing from the world, you are doing everything as per the pattern of the world, you will not be able to prove that which is good. You will not be able to understand or mm. to accept mm -hmm. the perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. So doing the perfect will of God, it's only a renewed person. Mm -hmm. When you are healed from discontentment, you are able to understand the perfect will of God. And this is the time you'll be able to submit to the will of God. Amen. Number two, as I, uh, I wind up, uh, for you to be able to be disconnected from this plague of discontentment when you are transformed and your mind is renewed you'll be able to call things which are not as though they are god created everything that we see and the invisible he called things which were not as though they were so when you are fully delivered from discontentment you are able to call that which is lacking in your spouse what you see is lacking in your in your wife. You'll be able to call and those things will manifest and you'll be comfortable. What is lacking in your husband's life, you'll be able to call it and it will manifest and you'll be a fulfilled person. Number three, you should seek peace with each other. You should seek peace with each other. During the time frame or the period of and discontentment some people would one another they truly do damage in the lives of each other and in romans 12 verse number 18 it says if it is possible so much as uh, as depends on you live peaceably with all men so mm. all men means even husband and wife you should try as much as you can to live in peace to live in peace. There is nothing else that the word of God has commanded us to pursue. It is peace. That is being, we've been commanded to pursue peace. So as, as a couple, you need to change your strategy. You need to desire God to heal you if you have been wandering and you have been discontent. Five years in marriage, five years of discontentment. It is, it is like Eternity, especially between a couple. Ten years in marriage and you have never been comfortable with your spouse. It is a, it is a prison of its kind. But the moment you invite God and you desire healing, he will heal you. And after healing you, you will embrace the grace of God. You will embrace whatever God has done in your life. You will see the, the worth or the value of your spouse. And you always bless the Lord every time. Psalmist is saying in Psalm 103, Bless the Lord of my soul and everything that is within me. Mm. Bless his holy name. Do not forget. So discontentment will make you to forget the benefits. Discontentment will cause you to forget the benefits. What the Lord has done, what your husband has done, what your wife has done, you will forget. But the moment you are healed from discontentment, you will remember what the Lord has done. You remember the Lord has forgiven you. You remember it is God who has healed you. You remember it is God who renews your life and 
you he, he renews you like an eagle. He, you remember it is God who satisfies your mouth with good things. So a discontent person cannot speak well. You can't say something that is good. And tonight we are trusting the Lord that you seek peace. Tell the Lord to renew. Tell the Lord to create a new heart, a new mind. David, when he understood something has overtaken him and he entered into adultery, he went before the Lord in Psalm 51. And he told God, he remembered the root cause of whatever was happening in his life. He understood the cause. He was conceived in that design of adultery. And he cried to the Lord to wash him clearly, uh, completely. And the, this is the time he told God, create unto me a clean heart and give me a new spirit. So when God releases his Holy Spirit in you, the Holy Spirit will help you. He will teach you. He will comfort you. He will make sure that whatever your spouse is doing to you, it is the best. And you'll embrace, you'll appreciate, mm -hmm. you thank God. And this is a time you'll not be offside. I tell you, my dear, many mm. couples, they are already offside. Mm. And the rent card has been lifted. Mm. That's why they are no longer operating. There is no grace in them. And mm. you hear them telling each other, I don't have grace mm. to stay with you. Mm. I, don't, I don't have grace. Though, if, if you are there and... Even people who say, I don't have grace to serve God. Mm. I don't have grace to give. I don't have grace to go to church. I Those people, they are offside. Mm. So they, they are no longer under the grace of God. And this is what is eating up many people. And we pray that the Lord will bring healing in Jesus' mind. Amen. Amen. Those were my remarks. I God thank God for that. Amen. Uh, I have just remembered in the Bible, there were men who went to David, 400 of them. Yeah. The men with, the, I call them three Ds. They yeah, were discontent. Mm. Uh, they were also, these men who distressed. went to, to David, they were in debt. They distressed. were distressed. In First Samuel 22, verse 2. Yeah. Every one of them, nobody, minus nothing. They were men with distress, they were men with debt, and, and they were men with discontentment. Mm. They were not content. And they came to him. And the same David turned those same men to mighty men. To mighty men. Amen. So it shows there is a remedy for discontented men. Amen. There is a remedy for discontented women. Amen. God can satisfy you. Mm -hmm. Your anger, your thirst can be satisfied by God. So when you turn to God, you shall be contented. You shall be changed. And you shall become a different person. A person who is always thankful, appreciated. You settle down. Mm. You have a mind that is transformed. You will eliminate sin. There shall not be perversion in you. Mm. And you shall not covet. Amen. And you shall always know when I have God, I have everything. Mm -hmm. You shall be learning to be content with what you have. Because he says he will never leave you nor forsake you. So you appreciate what you have. You begin to appreciate the woman you have. You begin to appreciate the children you have. You begin to appreciate the marriage you have, the years you have stayed. And from there, joy will come. Amen. Peace will come. Amen. Please, it takes the change of attitude. Some things are good, but your attitude is bad. Nothing was wrong with the promised land. But the attitude of people was wrong. Mm. The ten men made others not inherit yes. the promised land. Yeah, <laughs> you can say something. 
Okay, I will begin with uh, James Gravy is saying discontentment is a mother of bitterness. That's true. Yes. James, you are very right. <laughs> That's why many people are bitter. Yeah. Because they are not content. And I think this is the cause of even some couples, their spouses who have killed one another. One another, because, because they were not content. Yeah. Kim said, um, God plucked out one rib from Adam to make if. If Adam needed four wives, God could have taken from him four ribs to make four wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. One wife... Imagine now if four ribs are taken <laughs> out. Would that be a man? Hmm? Uh, yeah, but from the beginning, it was not so. One wife is enough according to God's pattern from the beginning. Yeah, it will be like that. Yeah. <laughs> then he also said, when you are proud, is when we are talking about Absalom. When you are proud, you fight your future without knowing. You ruin your own destiny, destiny like yes. Absalom. Yeah. That's what people do. Yeah. I, we want to earn you. This happiness is not far away from you. This it's joy not. is not far away from you. This good life is not far away from mm. you. Just you need to change your attitude. You may have married the best man, but the way you see your per perception is wrong. You need to change it. You cannot impress. We said discontentment is also born of wrong motive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot impress someone who has a wrong motive already. Mm -hmm. You need to change your mind. Yeah. You need to change your mentality. Yes. And we want to pray mm -hmm. this night mm -hmm. that those who are not content, mm -hmm. they are suffering from this demon of discontentment. Yeah. That the Lord shall lift you up in Jesus. and change your heart. Amen. Because it's something emotional. Mm. It's something of the mind. This mind. It's a spiritual thing that come to manipulate the way you think and the way you feel. We pray that God will liberate in you. Jesus name. And from today that your eyes are open. Amen. That when you see your wife, you see the best thing. When you see your husband, you see the best Amen. thing. And you enjoy submission. Amen. You enjoy being with this one woman, mm -hmm. bowing down. I tell people in marriage, we need to play like the way dogs play. You see, the big dog even small. They run. This time one goes down. Nice. The other one mm -hmm. is up. Now they go again. The other one goes down. <laughs> so it, that's how we are supposed to be. This time this is up. This one is down. This is up. And we enjoy this life. Helping one another. And when the dog lies, the other one does not oppress it. Yeah. Try and they wake up like that. Let us be there for one another. Yeah. It's possible. It's very possible. If you have shown your wife, you're not comfortable. You are not content. Repent. And make peace with her. Make peace. Mm. If you show your husband, you're never satisfied. Go and repent. And it will begin by your life. Being changed, coming to Jesus. And today, before I pray, I want to lead you to God. Amen. I want to lead you to Christ. Mm. And I want you to lead you into repentance. And I want you to repeat this prayer after oh, yes. me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, forgive me, forgive me from being uncontented, from being uncontented in, my marriage in my marriage and in life and in life in general. In general. I have realized, I have realized discontentment, discontentment always, lead always lead to sin. To sin. And I turn against and I turn against you. Now, now I know. I know. I repent. I repent. Anytime. Anytime I have shown, I have shown what you have given me. What you given me has no value, it's no value and despised you and despised you i repent i repent every pride every pride in my heart in my heart let it die let it die every rebellion every rebellion let it die let it die every last every last every greed every greed let it die let it die in jesus in name jesus name. Covetousness. Covetousness. die 
die and live my life and live my life in Jesus name, in Jesus name. and from now from now i am transformed i am transformed by the power by the power of the word of god, the word of god. by the blood of god by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus i am washed i am washed i am washed i am washed by the blood of the lamb by of god the blood of the lamb of and god and i am sanctified and i am sanctified from all my guilt from all my guilt in jesus name in jesus name i'm now free and i am free from the spirit from the spirit and manipulation and manipulation brought into my life brought into my life by discontent by discontent this plague this plague of this contentment of discontentment is now dead is now dead in my life in my life I'm now free and i am free in jesus name in jesus name amen amen thank let me jesus. pray for you oh yes lord father thank you Mashara. for the one who has prayed this prayer and whoever will ever pray this prayer let this place come to an end let them have renewed mind new hearts new spirit new mind let their lives be changed from this moment in the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord because somebody is changed. Yes, Lord. Somebody is transformed. They will find peace. Yes. They will enjoy. Yes. The spirit of divorce will not work in that marriage. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you in general now. Yes, Lord. Father, I pray to every marriage that you will manifest. Yes, Lord. I pray yes. that in every individual yes. you will manifest. manifest I Lord. pray yes, Lord. that in every couple yes. you show yourself strong Thank you, Lord. from this moment. Thank you, Jesus. I destroy spirits Mashallah. of manipulation. The killer yes. of destinies of yes. marriage and destroy you yes, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I release healing Thank you, Lord. to every couple. Rabashi. This plague, con discontentment, I kill you, Rabashi. I slay you in by Jesus the power name. of the sword Rabashi. of the spirit. Rabashi. And I release Rabashi. healing. Rabashi. I release Rabashi. healing. Rabashi. I release change. I release deliverance. The force of darkness. You have no authority. The force of darkness. You have no power. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Plague of discontentment. Die from the earth. From today. Let this man become grateful. Thankful. Let him appreciate. Let him be pleased. By what the spouse is doing. In Jesus name. I pray for change of mind. Yes. I pray for change of spirit. Yes. I pray that they will have a new mind. Yes. A new spirit. A new body. In this life of marriage. They shall live mm. in accordance to your will. Yes, Lord. I separate them mm. from all curses. Yes. Every spirit. Mm. Every seed. Yes. Of discontentment. Mm. Are planted in their hearts, yes. either by themselves mm. or by people. Yes, I destroy. There are people who show others you should have done better. You should have married a better woman. Mm. You shall be a married man. You deserve something better. And these people begin to get discontent mm. because of the seed. I approve those seeds yes. planted by people, mm. planted by men themselves yes. in them mm. that lynch into killing of marriage. Thank you, Lord. I destroy it. Mm. The spirit of fear. Yes. The power of unbelief. Yes. Die now. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, help us to overcome unbelief. Yes. And let fear disappear. Mm. Let confusion and doubt yes. die. In Jesus. And let the marriage mm. manifest in greatness. Thank the Lord. Because you have heard us. Mm. There is a transformation. Thank you, Lord. In their lives. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray mm. and I also believe. Amen. 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 I decree changes in your life. Yes. That you shall be having peace from now. In Jesus' name. You shall be content with your husband. Mm. Those who never knew why they are never satisfied. They are suffering inside. Now mm. you have known why. Overcome that power. Yes. By submitting to God. Amen. And being thankful to him. Mm. Always. And the spirit of discontentment will never rest in your life. Hallelujah. Be thankful to God always. Appreciate God. Appreciate that he is with you. That he will never leave you. No, I forsake you. And you shall be content with him. Whether you have or you don't have, mm. be content. Amen. Be content with your husband. I pray that you will be satisfied. Amen. And you'll be content with your husband. Mm. You'll be content with your wife. Mm. You'll never look for love from anywhere else. You'll be content and stick to her. Love her. Mm. 
and do the best things you can for our in life. May your marriage have peace Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who are not married, you are be moving relationship to relationship. May that spirit die now. Settle down from now and let your marriage life Amen. be glorious also. In Jesus' name. May the peace of the Lord that surpasses understanding guard your hearts in Christ Jesus. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Make sure before you sleep or when you have come across this message, you have shared it with your friends. Host watch parties so that all those who follow you will also get this message and you will help us to raise and equip godly families. On behalf of my wife, Pastor Florida Mwenda, we say God bless you. And God continue to keep you. You can get all the messages we have preached uh, through this program and other on my YouTube channel at Apostle Domiziano Mwenda. Love the channel also. And those like the channel, I mean, and subscribe. And that is the best thing you can do to us for now by supporting that channel. May the peace of the Lord bless you. Remember, when you work out your marriage, it shall flourish. It shall flourish. Whatever you feed grows. Whatever you don't feed, it will not grow. It will die. Work out your marriage. This was designed to bring you happiness and to make you prosper. Don't allow this joy to move away from you. Take it because it is yours. Marriage is a date for you to enjoy mm -hmm. and celebrate it. And now we say in Swahili, Doa Sikufumiliana Vali Nikufumiliana May the Lord give you peace Amen. and may the Lord give you joy mm. and make you perfectly matching Amen. in a marriage relationship Amen. where you enjoy everything from now. Let us meet again on Monday starting at 9 p.m. East Africa time. Until then, we say shalom. <laughs>